welcome to today's tip. Now I've got a watercolored line scribble in black that I've done there. I'm just going to stick it down to divide up my page. It's exactly the same color cardstock, but it's going to just divide this up. I'm not gonna stick this area here. I want that to sit with a bit of a shadow underneath. Now I've got a fabulous cool B stamp here. I've got two archival inks. One is a sepia, one is the radiant neon. That's the pigment ink, a bit stronger than your normal archival ink. I've got my photos and embellishments that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sort of a continuation stamp really. So it's to create a pattern, um, repetitive stamping, not sure what you would call it. Art Deco era really had it done well. And I'm just going to go in loads of different directions. Now I'm just practicing on here just to get a bit of a feel for the stamp. I don't wanna go directly onto my layout. Now the other thing that I quite like doing is using the first and the second print from my stamp. So I feel I'm quite happy with that. And then we're gonna go with one bright one sticking out. Okay, so now that I've had a bit of a practice, I'm ready to go. The other thing that I want to create is sort of a, because I'm going for a patterned effect, I want half of it off the, the layout and half of it on. So I'm just gonna stamp all the way along now until I'm happy with what I've got in multiple directions, some of it off the page, some of it on the page. I'm just going to mess around for a bit. Okay, so I finished with the CP. I'm now gonna move over to my pigment ink and I'm going to really load this up. I want it to come out sharper than any of the others. So I'm really putting a lot on there. And he's going to be our number one bumblebee. And like I say, just giving it a really good push down. Probably doesn't help that I'm using a really, really big pad for a small stamp. So choosing the right color stamp block, sorry, shaped stamp block size is definitely worthwhile too. So I've got him in there. I love him like that. And then I can just begin to put in my embellishments like so. I can have it coming underneath that beautiful bit that we've created there. Some of my embellishments might sit underneath, but I definitely want my photograph sitting front and center. So how about that? What an easy way to create a fabulous background using your stamps.